Do you think Zulu boys and Zulu men are violent? Or do you think the rest of the world is, is wrong? And Zulu people are actually more rational and logical. You know, if as far as we trust Zulu with words, mm. I have to escalate. But the rest of the world, it doesn't make sense. This person killed someone in your family and you guys watch them every day. You need to know the courts failed us. Mm. That can't be rational. Mm. Yeah, I think um, I'm a Zulu violent. We, we, we can't we beat about the bush and they still need to be cleansed. Because King Shaga, when he built the Zulu nation, he used the spear and the blood. To understand that even when King Shaga was killed, it was on the basis that he could not stop. Killing? Yeah. The family had to sit down and say, hey, every day, and the guy was young, in the morning, and he, he, was, he was really good looking, light in complexion, muscular. Slow that down. Light yeah. in complexion. Yes. That's not the Shaga I know. The Shaga I know is tall, <laughs> black, and an eight-pack. Henry yeah. I know Henry Tele played that part for television very well, but that's not how uh, one would imagine Ushaga if we were to look at the historical facts. If you want to know about kings' complexion, go to their praise singers or read what the praise singers said during his time. Mm -hmm. For instance, King Kichwa, if they say, that's complexion. Yeah. He was dark. Ushaga, they say, Ulang al Pumelins is Alans Asa. Meaning, Ilang al Puma, yes, it sets, but Ilibanem Seb. When the sun sets. Yes. Okay. Symbolizing his complexion. Light skinned. Yes. Even her mom was light in complexion. Usenza Nakona was. Good looking to an extent that Unand in Kosaza Nunand had two Zilisa Sachanyana at I full of some Gifurum Bolum to Kalanga. Do you realize? But Abelung, because they wanted to give us that ring of throne uh, idea, this is why they, they had to project him with Henry. Uh, it's the same with some of the things King Shaga said. Uh, that thing is a sketch. It's taken from when Julius Caesar was killed. And you, my son, Brutus, you see? Yeah. And now Ushaga saying, now I'm Bopa Njayam. That's not true. Mm. Actually, what happened? Ukin Shaga, when he was 16, looking after a, a, a huge head of cows, he was met with or faced with a, a huge a snake called Imamba that just rose in, 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 a, in a bush and then killed one of the cows that he was looking after off about head. Because Ushara was a prophet, he went and spoke to the, to, uh, to the snake and said, what is it that you are trying to do? And the snake said, the reason I'm killing the cow, I want your attention. Your kingdom is going to grow like of heavens, but you're going to die early. Mshangana, umbopa, and udingana, bazo shangana ngawe, and kill you. But the, all of them, they won't rule. This is a story that is known. The this, is a this is a Shaga story. Shaga speaking to Imamba. Yes, this is, this is a historical fact. And he fact. used to herd for Um Teto. Yes. That was, a big, that was a big nation. Yeah, yeah, that was a kingdom. Mm -hmm. And then... To give you an empirical evidence to that, he found Umbopa around the fire. No, it was cold. And then he said, Mbopa, you don't uh, enjoy fire like that. Put your hands inside. Oh, Zulil person, no, I can't. Put your hands inside. And then until Shaga put his, he said, you put them like this. And then his did not. And then put them. And then his hands bend until we're like this. It's a mob. It's a mob. And then why did he do that? He already knew that he's gonna be he was gonna be part of his assassination. We don't talk about that. Mm. 27th of September. They say sorry, man, 23rd, because he 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 was killed on the 24th, sure. 1828. What we call heritage day today. Yes. He he was seen. Begging his, his ancestors, like, hey, 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 why must I die of the hands of cowards like Dingan and Mbopa? And then they said, it is time. For the first time, King Shaga, 
on the 28th, he went to a Zulu hut, MSM Samo, and banned him. Why why city? So his time he went to speak with his ancestors and the, uh, the, the rich men are inside the crawl. Mm. He, he He's praying in, on behalf of them. The first thing he would say, Seven Kai. Now, Baba Fana Ben Bessis by in Mabang Hambi bought a shisimpe, Bessie Apuma is by in. Ah, Bessie, any is it direction? Today we are fighting Soshangan or we are fighting whoever. And then Bessie Betty Ibuto, when I went off, by it, meaning bring them, by let, because Abateta Babe and the baby's years are dialect to Tefuya, meaning you are replacing Y, UL with a Y. Was a lapa, was a yapa. Like a swati and they are Yeah, Ukegela, yes, Ukegela. Okay. Uh, so it's amazing that Christians today are saying, Bayete ngonyama, bayete, bata uche sagalete bal. In their heads, mm. again, metaphors. And it's crazy because in the Christian uh, denomination, at least, the letter J, according to history, didn't exist. 500 years later. And then J comes now and we're saying Jesus, but the, the Jehovah. and Yeah, because it was Yah, and Yah was meaningless. He is. So then the I'm just thinking of the L and the and the and the Y and the, the oh, J I and see, the Y. I see, I see. But I think in Amangoni, we have different kinds of Amangoni. We have Amatebengun. Amatebengun are the ones Abatebeza, Ubus, or Zuma, or Duma. Amatebenguni. Okay. And then you have Amala Langun. Amala Langun are the ones who are replacing Y, I mean L with Y. Besok Zobana Mambungun. Amambunguni. Abandu Vele, whose their ancestors originated from what you call Imbo in the Central Africa, such as Omshong or Nomkiz, Amambunguni. So we are born, but different because of their sociological aspects in terms of how. Uh, they have crafted uh, their life, their, their, I mean, their style of living yeah. that you would call a culture. Because a culture is not symbolically uh, spiritual. No. Spirituality is something else. Culture, these are the means. It's a manifestation of human intellectuality being passed down from that generation to that generation. Would like higher, for instance, or about Bagwangu Bani history reveals which Ushaga had a beef with Unzombane of the Ngubane clan. Ngubane Chwaya was good looking and smart. So sometimes he would get offended when in the council. King says, hey, no, we need to do one, two, three. And they say, hey, I think we need to call on Zombane for this. And then they said, at some point, let's check his eyes out and see uh, what his handsomeness is going to do. Hmm. And then after that, he called his old family and said, he's asking all the newborns to be cut this part so that when he's playing with all the kids, he would know that I've touched a Ngubane child. Hmm. And today we call that what you're saying about the symbolism and the spirituality. Today we say exactly. and you're like exactly. and you and you're saying no, it wasn't a spiritual from the heavens, it was a functional and the two the time. Time. It was his problem. Hmm. 